Hi everybody, it's Miss Emily back for another seasonal stem summer reading edition and today we're going to talk about why ducks preen their feathers. But what is preening? Well if you've ever walked by a lake or a body of water, if you've seen a duck kind of turn its body and its beak is sort of messing with its feathers, what the, animal, the duck is doing, it's preening. So preening is a way to clean the feathers but it's also, it's a really cool skill. So when the duck is using its beak, what it's doing, it's activating a preen gland, and that releases an oily substance that coats the duck's feather. This acts as an insulator that keeps them warm and mostly waterproof, which can be pretty beneficial when the water temperatures start to get cooler. So today we're gonna do a demonstration that sort of uh, mimics how a duck does the preening. And what we need for that is we have a paper bag cut into two feather shapes. Cooking oil of some kind. I have vegetable oil. You could use canola oil at home if you're doing this at home. Water, a paintbrush, a pipette or a straw, and then something to keep the area that you're working with clean and dry. So I'm using a cooking sheet. You could just put pa down paper towels of some sort, something easy. That's all you really need. So let's get started. Okay, so the first step is we are going to leave one of our feathers just the way it is, and we are gonna cover the other in oil. This is the one that it's supposed to mimic the preening that the duck does with the oil that it puts on its feathers. So we're just going to put that all over the feather. And again, this is why we're doing this on a baking sheet because it's going to get a little messy, but that's all right. So that's pretty well covered. So now we are going to do our experiment and we're going to put, put water on both of these feathers. Now, remember that the preening that the duck does is supposed to act as an insulator, keeping it warm and waterproof. So if you're doing this at home, it's a good time to make a prediction about what is going to happen. I'm going to go ahead and put the water on both of the feathers, one at a time so we can look at them. So I'm using my pipette putting water all over this feather. And if you're noticing, the water is absorbing right into the paper bag. So if this was a duck's feather, it would be going right into the feather to the, to the duck's body, and that would make the duck colder. I'll leave that for a minute so you can see it just really absorbing. Now we're going to put the water on the oil. I don't know if you can see that yet, but the water slides right off of the oil. The oil acts as a barrier and an insulator and the water cannot get to the paper to be absorbed. So if this was the duck, that oil keeps the duck's feather from absorbing the water, keeping it warmer and waterproof. And we can test that this is actually happening by taking the feather and sliding and you see what happens, that water slides right off. So if this was a duck's feather, it would slide right off, keeping that duck warm. So, the paper bag feather that we covered in oil was able to shed the water easily. That's because the water and oil don't mix. When a bird is able to get a good covering of its oily substance, it's able to stay dry in the water, much like if we wear our raincoat. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed this easy seasonal stem. I hope you learned something. And if you do it at home, make sure you share the photos in the comments with us. Have a great day. Bye-bye.